Part 20 of the Blender Character Modeling Tutorial Series for Beginners. Um, we're going to pick it up right where we left off. So where did we leave it off? Before we finished kind of smoothing out the butt. Okay. And we really want to... Well, so these are smoothed out. Okay. We have some smoothed out geometry. We come to the front, and this is just super smooth, and that's great. We want to add some form to our butts. We've really only messed with uh, red so far. Now I want to go to go to blues and reds. If you've kind of figured out, are designed to taper and push in your model. Blues, if you haven't figured it out yet, are designed to pull out um, or add form to your model geometry or sculpt. And so we're going to hit the inflate button and bring it around and inflate the butt a little bit okay and just all i'm doing is clicking and we can come here into side view into three and literally just bring it out to the shape of your you know well that that obviously looks well that just looks silly there you go here's there's a butt okay we kick in a side view and See, so it's like tag here. Yeah, that's that's too much, and that's okay. So, we'll... okay. okay. So let's go around, and if look, if you go too far, then no big whoop, and just smooth it back in, right? You can. The cool thing about this is that you are free to fail. This is, I've said it before, I will say it again until I'm blue in the face. This is an environment in which you are free to fail. And, you know, let's bring out the hips a little bit, okay? Um, you, can't, you can't learn anything if you're not free to fail. If you're, if you're worried about failing, you know, your sphincter clenches and it's just, uh, it's, it's grueling, you know? It's like, oh my God. Um, Right, so now, not half bad. And then we can bring out the hips a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Bring out the legs, the butt. Well, maybe not the back yet. And not bad. And then if you go to front view, and you can actually, you know, you can bring this out. See here, like if you watch, I mean, you can't really, I wonder if you can, you can see it well enough there, that might be better. You can just bring out, you know, all I'm doing is adding shape to the form to make it the shape I need it to be, okay? Fill out that back leg a little bit, like that. Kick in the side view, pull this back leg out, add some form to the back leg, add some form, a little more form to the butt front of the leg like that and you are free to to model your care and all we're doing is adding volume to the shape do you see how this looks now from where it did you know one video ago so it you know it it looks hang on let me see the squeezes brush down a little bit and a little Get a, get a true contour on that side hip. Okay. Um, that might be a little too much. Yep, a little too much. Pull this hip out a little bit more. And then smooth this in. Did you see all I'm doing is really just what's too much, what's not enough, what needs a little more. And that's, you know, that's just kind of the, the story of how all this stuff gets done. Okay, and you just smooth it out. That's all we're trying to do. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is now we're gonna pull this tool, okay, the grab tool. And what the grab tool does is exactly that. It's the grab tool is kind of like the blob tool, except on steroids, okay? So it's this one right here. It says grab. And now we're gonna use the model and just kind of pull it out. We're going to build out our form 
wherever we need it okay and if we if we over pull if we over grab and no big deal then we just we go back and we smooth it out okay it's a it's a process right maybe smooth this out right here grab tool grab tool maybe bring this belly out a little bit as well Bring the chest out momentarily. The front of these calves, excuse me, the front of these, not, it's not a calf, it's quad. The front of the quads. Okay, all we're doing is we're essentially pulling our geometry into the required space. Okay. Let's bring our legs to life. Get this calf out a little bit. Go control one to see the back view. Okay. Make this a little bit bigger. Get this to the side. Get this out a little bit like that. Get this side. Pull this out. See, it's not rocket science, guys. It's 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 template. It's just Almost like a math equation, right? It would bring out the get the fullness of the inner leg going, like that. Pull that out. The, let's add some roundness to this butt, that hip area. see how that looks from where it was you know in the previous video and that calf is a little sharp so what do we do we just smooth it out I'm gonna and again all I'm doing is can you see when I hit F okay so it doesn't show you that all I'm doing to change the size of that tell me yeah screencast keys are on so all I'm doing to change the size of my sculpt brush is hitting F and I can make it bigger or smaller depending and that is a little hot so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and just like that okay not bad you guys nice butt nice hip nice calf quad knee shin ankle this is this is coming along nicely how's that look here Hips are out a little bit. Okay, so I need to bring this in. I'm gonna push this in, actually. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Like that. Then like that. And then like that. Let me smooth that a little bit. Just smooth that up. Just smoothing it up. Okay. Smooth that up there. Okay, that's good enough on the volume. Uh, and again, we haven't even added a, a smooth shading modifier. We haven't shaded it smooth. We haven't added a sub, uh, subdivision surface modifier. And we have this, you know, it's pretty sound geometry, you guys. Um, what is that on the butt? Looks a little tiny bit sharp, right? here and that's the case so I'll just smooth it Boop. okay all right not bad okay all right this shoulder I do want more form in this shoulder but we're gonna have to get that later the T pose kind of makes that challenging right now let's move on to the elbow okay so I'm gonna kick over into edit mode and go to Bird's eye view, okay. Top view. So here's a center line, 
Okay, this is a center line. Whoosh, goes all the way down the center. We are going to select in a bunch of faces. One, two, we are, we're going to build out uh, the back of your elbow. Okay, one, two, three, and then just go all the way down the cent like that. Center, center. Is that center? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to inset. Bring it in a little bit. We're making the, you know, we're making your elbow. We're going to smooth that out. Like so. Let's grab and bring it out a little bit like that. Smooth it out again. Like that. And now this is going to get a little weird, but it's okay. You can do it. Hey, you're doing great. Okay? You're doing great. You still with me? Great. Okay. So now we're going to do... We're going to get rid of some vertices. Okay? We're going to go one two, three, four. We're going to merge these sons of guns. Merge vertices at last. We want to merge them up here. Uh oh, we've created a couple of triangles. That's cool. We'll deal with them momentarily. And we want to do the same thing here. One, shift, click, two, three, four. Right click, merge vertices. You can also hit M, uh, hotkey M, merge at last. Okay. And now what we're going to do is select this edge. And then shift click select that edge right click and we want to dissolve edges it should dissolve the edges but keep the face and we still have these quads now what we've done essentially is we've created if this worked we should be able to shift alt click with face select we've created a loop that goes all the way down the body at the elbow around look at that look how clean that is outstanding and should have one on the other side. Yep, boom, it goes around the arm too. So this is what I mean was a clean geometry. Okay, it doesn't zig, it doesn't zag, it doesn't shuck, jive, bob, and weave. It does exactly what we want it to. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. All right, inside this, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the exact same thing. Inset it with I. Hey, now like that. Bring it out a little bit, and then let's smooth it out like that, like we do, like we've been doing. Not like that, yeah, like that. Okay, cool. I see you. I see you smoothing out. Nicely done. And then what we want to do the exact same pattern. Okay, one, two, three, four. You can hit M or right click, merge to last, and then one two three four m or right click merge to last and then same thing edge select this edge select this edge and then just dissolve edges okay okay and let's go into sculpt mode and just smooth that out a little bit just make that nice and smooth okay there we go Nice little elbow. Okay, now let's go back and let's tab back into edit mode. And let's add some more geometry into these arms. So let's add one, two, well, let's just do one, two. Yeah. And then here we'll do maybe even two more there. Escape out of that. And then here let's add three. One, two, three. Like that. And then add another one in here. Great. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing with the elbow, but with the knee. So we can kick around in the front view. And see where this knee is supposed to be about, you know, right here. Okay, let's do the exact same thing with probably this. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that yeah it's a center line and a center line nice okay same thing inset 
bring it down like that and then bring it out like that on the Y let's make sure it stays in the Y and then smooth it out like that you see the knees starting to come to life bring it out a little bit more like that same process as before we're gonna go into vertex mode one two three four and we're going to merge to last and then same thing on this side one two three four M merge to last and then with edge select edge shift click edge we're gonna dissolve those edges shabam just like that okay and then we're gonna do the exact same thing one more time so now I'm gonna inset with I kick that in I'm gonna smooth it out like that Bring it out on the y-axis, tiny little bit. Smooth it out again. Like that. And then same thing with our vertices. One, two, three, four. Right click, merge vertices at last. One, two, three, four. Right click, merge vertices at last. Then don't forget to dissolve and dissolve. Bada bing. Okay, so we should have quad quad, quad quad, and let's save our work. Okay, so now we built out the knee in the same way that we built out the elbow. Let's jump over into sculpt mode. I'm gonna size this brush down a little bit. Guys, are my screencast keys, honest question, screencast keys are acting up, you guys. Now they're working. It's very strange. I clicked off, and then I clicked them on. Okay. If I ever don't say, uh, I, I can't, can't tell you why. Just being a little bit glitchy. Okay. So now let's go to sculpt mode and smooth these out a little bit. Okay. Just smooth out that knee. Nicely done. Smooth out that knee. Smooth, smooth. And then I'm going to tab back into edit mode and just so you can kind of see what we're doing if you want to face select and see the geometry that we made you got this loop around here there's another one here yeah Boop. it's really cool you know that goes all the way up so we're doing some good things okay we got that elbow we got that knee and we're moving right along how are we doing on time okay so Let's add a little bit more geometry, a couple more loop cuts here, one, and then underneath the knee as well, here, two, let me make sure you, okay, and that, that's good, that's good for the knee, and that's good for the elbow, okay, so we're taking it nice and slow, we're building out the form, um, and the next, uh, if we, if this was a male character, we'd be good uh, but it's not it's female and she has breasts so in the next episode we will build out the breast and we'll go from there so in the meantime get up save your work with control s and get up get a cup of coffee get a bend get a push up get a cr I'm gonna do some crunches I haven't done crunches enough today I've just been sitting down all damn day um, let me know how this is going, if it's feasible, if we're going too fast, too slow. Again, if I'm going too slow for you, um, for this part of the geometry of the mesh, just watch uh, Dicko. And I will leave a link. Hey, bud. Oh, my puppy just walked in. And I will leave a link uh, for that tutorial in the description. If not, if you're doing okay and we're going at the right pace, then let's keep going. So make yourself some, uh, stay hydrated, get some water. And we'll see you in the next one.